Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to start with our practical for the Spark SQL. Okay, so we are going to see how we can use the Spark SQL in a in a DataBricks. In a previous video, we have already seen like how the DataBricks overview looks like. How actually we have to install the DataBricks community edition. So today we will start our practical with the Spark SQL. Okay, so let me open my Spark SQL DataBricks. Let me open my DataBricks first, and then we will start with our practical. So once you will log into the DataBricks, uh, this will look like this. Okay, in the left side window, if you will hover, you will get this all the information. Okay, if you will click on this create from here, actually you can create your notebook, table, cluster, and the pipeline. And same like we have a workspace and whatever the recent activity and the data, whatever the database you have and whatever the compute storage, like we have to create a cluster and then the workflow. So first thing, what actually we are going to do is like first we are going to create a cluster. Okay, then only we can start our practical. So for creating a cluster, what we have to do, we have to click on this compute. Okay, once you will click on this uh, compute. It will show like a create cluster. Click on this create cluster. Just uh, give a cluster name like testing, okay, or anything you can give, okay. And this is the by default option we get. Like the it is free up to 15 GB memory, and uh, it will automatically terminate after an ideal period of two hours, okay. So this is sufficient for us our practical, okay. And once you will uh, do select that. Just click on the create cluster. Okay, it is now creating. So till then, what actually we will do? We will start creating a notebook, and uh, we will see like how actually we can use. Okay. Or uh, before creating a notebook, let's try to have our data. So what actually I am going to do? I have a data. Okay. So what actually will I will do? I will first try to upload that data. Okay. Or I will try to create a table or the database. So one of the way actually I am showing like how actually you have a data available in your local or any kind of the DB and from there actually you want to create a table how actually you can do. So in the left side if you will see you have option of the data once you will click on that we have option for the create table click on this create table. Once you will do that we have option like upload file as 3 DBFS other data source. So one way is like we can upload a file. Okay, and you can see we have a DBS FL directory also it is showing. So it we it is going to save in this particular location. What actually it is showing like drop the file. So click on here and search your file. Okay, which file actually you want to load? Uh, I have a file available at the employee one. This file actually I am going to upload. Once you will click here, it is showing like create table with the UI and create table to notebook. What actually I am going to do, I am clicking on this create table with a UI. Once you will click that, it is asking for the cluster. So cluster we have created testing, right? So that actually we have to select. Click on this preview table. Uh, this will look like this. Here you can see we have a table name employee1. If you can edit this table name, I am giving as a employee1. By default it is selecting as a database as a default. And our file type is CSV. It can support CSV, JSON, Avro. Okay. And the column delimiter is like comma because this is a CSV file. And you can see we have also like the first row as header because in our file the first row is header, so we have to select on this first row is header so that it will automatically select the column. Okay, and after that we have option of the infer schema. Infer schema means if we will select this by default, it will select like what is the schema for this table. Okay, if you will click on this, okay. By default, it is selecting user as an integer because we have an integer value. Previously, it was a string. So, by default, uh, salary it selected as an integer, other as a uh, string and all. Okay. And uh, once you will have this, you just have to click on the create table. Okay. That's it. Once you will do that, your table will get created. Okay. Now you can see we have call, uh, default dot employee one. This this is the table which is getting created. And this is the sample data. You can see it. Okay. Now, now let's see how actually we can uh, load the data through a notebook. Also, there is one way we have already seen. The another way, let me show you. Just click on this create table. Click on this uh, browse button. Select your file. Okay. 
now previously we have seen like create table with ui now we will see create table in a notebook just click on this once you will click on this this is by default it is creating a this is the location where actually uh, the file location is available the file type is csv in file schema like we are going to select as a true okay this already we have seen what is the use of the in file schema first row is header yes we have to select as a true delimiter as a comma because it's a comma okay now this is by default it is selected and uh, this is the table name so we actually want to our table name should be employed to and this is the create uh, temporary view it is creating and it is creating that okay now now if you will click on this run all now our table will get created okay before that what actually we have to do we have to select our cluster okay so we haven't selected our cluster okay so first we have to select our cluster is testing click on that and click on the run all once you will do the run all the table will get created okay now if you will see this is the table which we have got like we have user name department department location and this is the employee two table okay uh now let us see how actually our table look like select star from employee to if you will do this is the table which is got created which we have created through a query okay so like this query also you can create and you can give a pie location okay now now let's what we will do now go to this create button click on this notebook okay once you will click on this notebook we can create a our notebook like uh, as of now i am giving a testing as we are uh, seeing the spark sql so i am going to select the sql here cluster i am selecting and click on this create once you will do that one notebook will get created okay and this notebook is similar look like a jupyter notebook and as we have created uh, some of the table right let's see so if i will do so tables and if i will execute you can see we have created a two table employee one and employee two okay and here actually you can write your all the sql query if i want to see this ta table how actually it looks like select star from employee one okay you will get to see employee one this is the data which we have similarly if you want to see employee two that also you can see employee two okay so this is how actually you can write your all the S spark sql queries and all okay and uh, how actually it is helpful so suppose now as of now we have seen like how actually you have a file available in a local and you are actually loading the table you are creating a table but the similarly you can perform like uh, if you have data available in a s3 location your uh, data is available in a delta lake and that from there also you can create a table okay that actually we will see later okay as of now let's try to do some kind of the analysis with with the help of the spark sql now if you will see here in the drop down if you will click in this drop down button we have option of the show title if you will click that here actually you can write any kind of the heading which you want to give so i am giving a heading as a analysis okay so we are going to do an analysis based on the data which we have okay now we have a employee one table okay in employee one table we have a user name user we have name we have salary location date and the attendance what actually i want to find out what is the maximum salary of the user and what is their location if we have to find out how actually we can do that okay so if we can write a query like select maximum salary so maximum is the function and from where actually we want to select from the employee table right employee one uh, if you will do that you will only get the maximum salary from the employee one what is that but we want to we want based on their user and based on their uh, name and based on their location right so what actually i will do i will try to group by group by user name 
and the location now if i will execute you you will get to see maximum salary based on their username and the location okay for the user three name is mega and location is india the maximum salary is 10000 same for the 1 2 4 and 5 okay but this is not giving any sense okay but suppose you have to find out based on the location what is the maximum salary like we have a india and we have us right what is the based on the location if you want to know so what actually we will do maximum salary based on the location and we are just going to group by location now if you will get to see in a india location the maximum salary is 20000 in the us location the maximum salary is 10000 right so this kind of the query actually we can write and this is similar to the uh, the sql only okay now actually if i want to find out how many records are there in my table okay how many how many records are there in a table how actually we can find out that so if i will write a query select const star from employee one table i will get information like how many records are there in a employee one table we have a total 10 records okay similarly if you want to find out for the employee two table that also you can do it you can see in employee two table we have a six records okay now now let us see now in employee one table if you will see Uh, so you will get a uh, one confusion like why it is showing a ten uh, record because ten record it is showing because it is also considering some of the null null records also which is available. Okay, so you have to properly handle the null values and all. Then only it will give you a proper result for your content all. Okay, all right. So like this actually you can write any kind of the query in a SQL. So in a next tutorial we are going to see all the SQL command based on the our practical. so that you will get more idea and also we are going to see how actually we can load our data from our s3 location and data lake and from there actually we will do some kind of the analysis